Welcome back to my Spain travel series. If you're new here, make sure to check out my first episode where I explore the beautiful streets of Madrid. Today, I'm taking you on a journey to the stunning city of Barcelona. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the ring icon. Let's dive straight into it. <laughs> This is my 3D itinerary in Barcelona and trust me, it's filled with incredible architecture, hilarious moments and of course some amazing food. So let's get started. Good morning, we are walking on the streets of Madrid. It's 7, we have our flight at 9 to Barcelona. So yeah, an exciting day ahead. Can't wait. I mean, it's just going to be crazy. It was an early start but I was super excited about the next part of our journey. Now here's a funny twist. I was, I got the priority boarding ticket and I'm already on board to my Barcelona airplane and Pushkar is in the normal line but I am yay in the premium. Stay tuned for more. It's a little victorious, right? Anyway, after a short flight, we finally arrived in Barcelona. The vibe of the city is something else. Our first stop was the world-famous Casa Mila, also known as La Pedrera. This architectural gem by Antoni Gaudi is an absolute must-see in Barcelona. The building's unique design and wavy stone facet are simply mesmerizing. Getting inside was pretty straightforward. We bought our ticket by standing in the queue for 30 minutes as we weren't sure before if we'd go. Of course, you also have an option to book the ticket online, so you can do that unlike what we did. It's a mistake, but we all learn, right? Upon entering, you have the option to take the elevator to the top, but we decided to take the stairs instead. And let me tell you, it was a workout, but totally worth it. The stairs were a bit challenge, but we couldn't stop laughing about it along the way. When we finally reached to the top, the views were absolutely breathtaking. One of the coolest things we did at the Casa Mila was taking a photo and video using the green screen setup. We got to pretend we were flying through Barcelona and it was hilarious but so much fun. We spent hours exploring every corner of this place and honestly it's even more amazing than I imagined. From the intricate details of the architecture to the sweeping views of the city, Casa Mila is a true masterpiece. Through the whole Casa Mila, you get these beautiful views of the city and it's absolutely stunning. The sun and the views are so gorgeous. Day one was pretty much summed up here we had a good dinner went back to our hostel and then decided to rest before our next day adventure day two was all about exploring park guel another iconic creation by gaudi the weather was beautiful sunny and warm but it was also extremely crowded here is a bonus tip for you try to visit during off-peak hours if you can the park is incredible but it's much more enjoyable with fewer people around Even with the crowds, Parkwell is absolutely stunning. The park is quite large, so be prepared to walk a lot. But the views from the top are worth every step. Make sure to take plenty of photos and videos to capture those beautiful moments. Now, after exploring the park, it's time to fill our stomachs with good food and amazing vibe. If you want to get authentic local vibes, I would highly recommend you to visit this. We had to go in and check it out because it was Barcelona's match during that night and the vibes are just unmatchable. 
Our day began bright and early as we headed to one of the Barcelona's most iconic landmarks, La Sagrada Familia. With tickets pre-booked, we avoided the long lines which I highly recommend if you want to maximize your time exploring. This architectural masterpiece by Antoni Gaudi is a true symbol of Barcelona. The design is unlike anything else you'll see and even though it's always busy with tourists, the ambience here is simply magical. Here's some interesting facts. Construction of La Sagrada Familia started way back in 1882 and is still ongoing. Gaudi spent the final years of his life dedicated to this project. This massive piece is expected to be completed between 2026 to 2027. You can even visit the towers still under construction but someone who's a bit claustrophobic, I decided to pass on that one. But don't worry, the interior is more than enough to take your breath away. The way the sunlight filters through the stained glass creates amazing colors and it's truly a sight you won't forget. After soaking in all that beauty, we were craving something familiar and comforting. So we headed to Chile restaurant for some Indian food. Trust me, if you're in Barcelona and looking for incredible vegetarian options, Every dish was packed with flavor and felt like a taste of home. After the meal, I wasn't really feeling well, so I decided to take the evening off and rest for a while. By evening, I was ready to explore again. So we made our way to Barcelona Cathedral. The atmosphere was absolutely electric. The atmosphere was absolutely electric. Live music filled the air and the streets were buzzing with energy. The cathedral itself is a stunning example of Gothic architecture, but what really made the visit special was the lively vibe around it. And for all the movie buffs out there, here's a fun fact, the Bollywood hit Zindagi Na Milegi Dubara was also shot in these very streets. It was surreal to walk through those iconic spots. To wrap up our final day in Barcelona, we decided to take a stroll down La Ramla, one of the city's famous streets. This place is heart of Barcelona, full of life, colors and endless things to see and do. That wraps up our incredible journey through Barcelona. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. But this adventure isn't over yet. Stay tuned for my next destination, Sevilla, where even more exciting experiences await. Don't forget to subscribe.